Good evening ladies and gentlemen, my name is Momsen was right and I'm going to do it again. I'm going to do uh, uh, a search through all the normal leveled games, through all those games nobody wants to watch and nobody wants to cast and I'm going to cast them for you because I love you people. I love you. Um, what is interesting is that I had to search for so long again. I had to go to level 9 until I found the first game that took longer than eight minutes it's insane i mean what's going on on normal level play i don't get it uh, this game isn't going to go very long and it isn't going to be very fine or funny but you know what we are going to watch it anyway um let's just start the picking phase will we we have 21 for the radiant lucky crow cop team 68 vegan monster and i just call him cccp uh, on the die side we have only Nicholas. Uh, we have something interesting with a nose, I think. We have a no name that is interesting. We have cro croaked, croaked and Dolphic. And we have actually one compendium. That's amazing. One compendium. Uh, uh, by the way, all, all you out there, please buy compendiums. Compendiums are awesome and, um, well, that's it. You get stuff and the people that play on the international get even more stuff and they get money and so on. Okay, I can already see we are in the usual pub uh, area of play. So we have Pudge, of course, we have uh, Troll Warlord, <laughs> we have Klinks. They are all coming. Come on, Ricky, please. Ricky. Ricky Wiper. What else? I mean, you just have to go into the mindset of a pub player. You know, somebody who is re really new to the game and you pick guys that are looking awesome. Like, look at Shadow Shaman here. Doesn't he look awesome with his mouth open and no teeth? Or um, um, Earthshaker. He looks, you know, what, like an angry Wookiee, like, uh, uh, I'm angry and I'm a Wookiee and I have fur and I have this big thing uh, on my, you know, shoulders. And I'm not afraid to use it. And we have Faceless Void, who is also looking really angry. I mean, he's showing us his teeth and he can't do anything else because he has... Does he have lips, even? Uh, okay, in this case it isn't that important anyway, because this Faceless Void basically has a mask that makes him look like a... Well, a Mind Flayer or a Cthulhu, is that how you pronounce this? Some kind of monster from beyond uh, whatever. Okay, we have uh, Nicholas. Now we first have the confusion of what lane do I go to? I mean, I'm cool. Uh, and I have these cool swords and my... Uh, wait a minute, is, are those the Arcana for Terror Blade? No, they're not. I <laughs> nearly thought that uh, somebody who is new and a normal bought the Terror Blade Arcana. But could be possible, why not? So we have a solo Earthshaker top, and we have, of course, Pudge mid, and we have Faceless Void mid, <laughs> and a Sniper, <laughs> Sniper Troll Warlord uh, bot lane, well, at least they're arranged. Um, well, I mean, you understand that these are not very good lanes. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> everybody's in low priority. <laughs> okay, um, Sniper has take aim first. Um, Rod first on Pudge, and he blocked. Wow. Do we have a Smurf again? And do we have Faceless Void mid, which is still something I'm very afraid about. And <clears throat> what is a pub game without spamming your abilities? Going to lane and saying, you know, I have mana for two of these. For the next five hours and so let's fire away i mean it doesn't make do a lot of damage but whatever um actually it does um 125 which is for level it's okay for level one but you know 125 mana is a lot on level one at the bot lane we have a phantom cancer and a clinks worth is the thrall and the sniper so a shitty lanes on both sides because there's too much carry potential and well 
There's nothing else to be said. Let's take a look at item builds. Um, we have Sniper, who has bought what was recommended. We have Troll Wallet, who has bought a Ring of Basilius. And of course it's on, uh, so that the lane is pushed and farming is as sucky as possible. Clinks, well, nothing to write home about. Uh, mid. <coughs> Hmm, Faceless Void, Quelling Blade, well it's okay I think. And top we have, um, well, th you know this is really a problem with Pubcars because they are uh, recommended item sets. You, you won't have these, uh, um, um, <laughs> you won't have stuff like this very often like Boots of Speed for us or um, a Blade of Electricity Rush or so on. Oh, could that be? I think that could be First Blood. Weaken Monster is going down. Yes. I guess these two people are in a party. And uh, um, I think Void really liked that emote. And shit talking is already starting. If you know what this means, then write it in the comments. Oh, somebody has walk-ins already, which is of course the one guy who has a companion. At the bot lane we have Cancer Cancering as usual. We have um, Klings Klingsing. And Sniper uh, bought um, Orb of Venom. Hmm. Well, Scardy Rush. Would be funny. Troll isn't happy in the lane, of course. He, Troll actually, I mean, he is an agility hero, but his uh, strength at the beginning for a, a carry is ridiculous. 21. And he's level 3, okay? So he has 549 hit points, um, and that's nothing, basically. Um, in the mid lane, Pudge is. Let's see, uh, where are we? Last hits, nice. He's having some kind of fun. I mean, he has the best last hits. Uh, and Void, the mid Void is really doing well. He has his uh, Pullman Shield finished and his um, skill build is blah, but whatever. And there are wards. Uh, there are wards. There's, okay, there's one. There are two wards. What's going on? And Mirana dies again. I mean, it is it is really a dangerous um, combo because Terror Blade does a lot of damage, and he has a slow. And of course, um, we have oh, <laughs> punch him, Tom. And what what? Excuse me. Um, okay, that would explain why we don't have. A uh, very long game. So Mirana abandoned and um, of course people are shit talking because of it and I mean I think this isn't so much a low priority game this is some kind of low priority generator you know everybody not everybody is kung fu fighting but everybody is abandoning let's abandon let's like let's party like it's 1968 or, or uh, something like that. Earthshaker, Bracer Rush no mana. Well, um, and on the other side we have Troll. Uh, wait a minute, didn't he have more than a Ring of Basilius a couple of Radiance minutes before? Hmm. Oh well. <clears throat> but people are still playing. I mean, um, early abandons. If the game was a little bit more advanced, and if the Radiant was a little bit better, I, they could win this. Um, I know, I'm pretty sure you all have all been in the situation where um, one guy abandons and suddenly um, the other side isn't really good, but all the farm concentrates basically on one team uh, into four people. And uh, the usual build in um, these pub games is carry, 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 carry. And this can mean that one team really can destroy the others if they are only four people. Um, if the others don't know what to do. There are three bot and Klinks is invisible because he is Klinks and uh, being fucking invisible is what you do. Was it? <laughs> Was that a failed 
That was a failed ulti by Falch. Not very nice. And everybody's running from um, Void, who has, of course, not a magic stick. <laughs> Rushed his uh, Morbid Mask, though he has no mana for his ulti. Now he has. Oh, yes. And beautiful. And, of course, his teammates were all inside. And... Yes, Troll is down. And Phantom Lancer is down. Run, Klings, run! Do it! Two, sa two Sages masks? Hmm. What? I mean, what do you. <sighs> two Sages masks. We have still Bracer on Earthshaker. And the Bashes! The Bashes! The Bashes! Yes! Well, he can finish whatever he wants, and because he's in a pub game and writes stupid shit, of course, what he wants to finish is a uh, uh, Mask of Madness, because that's what he built in pub games first, of course. Surprise, he even bought boots. And down the tower goes. And somehow, Pudge isn't mid. I mean, you could say it's a good idea that he's roaming and ganking, but he isn't really going, doing that. A Phantom Lancer isn't even 6 yet, he should be mid and pushing. Dude, go mid. And... What? I mean... What? Uh... <laughs> Why does he have a flying courier in his... in his uh, pocket? Do they have a courier? No courier. But... <laughs> but... Perhaps it, perhaps it thinks it works, you know, like uh, the flying courier is in my pocket and if I really need it, I, I click on it and it comes out, out of my pocket and he brings me stuff, items or gold, uh, stuff like that. Man, Void really likes his emotes. Or is he rushing? He could be rushing. No, no, he's going to finish his boots. Uh, nah, let's be honest, in this game he could be rushing a... Uh, a Midas if he wanted to. Ah. And Chan Totem didn't really bring you anything? Buy something. Oh, fight, fight, fight. They want Pudge. Pudge is running. 21 is running. Yes, and the Mask of Madness. And the Axis. The Axis slow. And bash. And down. Wicked sick. I think this is the situation where most of the... Uh, gamers on the Radiant side are already thinking, well, I mean, we could abandon. We could. Couldn't we? I mean, we could. And at the top, Earthshaker is doing stuff. Um, why is he here? What, what is he doing up here alone? I mean, oh well. Hey, wait a minute. No, 21, please don't abandon. Yes, go back, fight it. Fight for... Uh, for the country you're from, which is a country of your choice. Well, it isn't really a blade of alacrity rush, but oh well, at least he has boots. You know, Earthshaker, if you had your ulti, this could have been really, really nice. Really nice. But you don't. And if you're constantly dying, you won't get it ever. Klinks is doing not so much. Oh, yes. And Mask of Madness is on. And Bash. And a stun from Witch Doctor. Nice. And he is dust. Nice. And a point booster. So some of these people really know what they're doing. And they are simply from... Uh, um, well, they had been abandoned and now they're here down in hell of normal games. Ah, God, that ulti is so, so dangerous. It does so much... What? What? Uh, everybody is abandoning. Again, everybody is not kung fu fighting but abandoning. But whatever. It was a nice game until now. Um, let's see if... Phantom Lancer still has his flying courier in his pocket. I mean, isn't he? He's going to suffocate in your pocket. You know that? 
perhaps he can he can survive for a couple of days by drinking your healing self but man that courier is going to die that poor poor courier oh well but if you really, really think about it, it isn't really a courier in the sense, it's more a wing upgrade. So perhaps it's, it's more of like a, um, a set of, uh, of doctor's tools to sew uh, some kind of wings on a normal courier. Mm. Anyway, everybody has disconnected. The other team thinks we are good, but we were too good. So everybody ran away and you get to, I'm pretty sure they have this feeling. I mean, he loved that emote. Um, you get this feeling a lot in Dota where you think, this one time everything went well uh, and then everybody goes away. Oh well, dire victory. That's it for this game, I guess. And we have uh, again some kind of shit talking. Oh well, what's an interesting game. I'm going to continue searching for games that are similar, that are... Uh, I hope I find them that are a little bit longer and not so one-sided, but it's hard. It's hard. I'm currently on level... Uh, sorry, on page 11. And let's see. Sooner or later I have to find a game. And my goal is to find a game that is as awesome as Perch. Uh, number 17 again if you haven't watched Purge number 17 watch it because it's awesome Anyway, my name is Momsen was right. I'm here to suffer for you because you can watch me suffer and think it's fun um, I'm going off. I see you tomorrow or today or in any kind of dimension and blah and goodbye